Hey yo everyone, Unfit Chaos coming at you again from the PTR for Season 10 Highlanders in Conqueror's Blade. Today, I'm just going to run through the seasonal menu real quick for you so you get an idea of battle pass, uh, challenges as much as I can, etc. Just a quick overview of the season menu. Once again, this is the PTR. That means that some of the stuff is subject to change. Some of the stuff I know for a fact will change. Um, but overall, this will give you a good rundown. First off, we have the dates, uh, December 21st through March 3rd. Um, this is, in essence, the final date, but obviously dates are subject to change for this season. That means we're looking at about a 10-week um, season coming up. So, first off, Battle Pass. Battle Pass is very similar to normal. Um, you're going to start out with your lovely attire that is going to come from having the Battle Pass. Uh, you're going to get your first reward if you don't have the Battle Pass at 5, which is just large chests. So your next big node is going to be a schematic, obviously at five, which is really nice. You're also going to get some treaties at 10, 15. You actually get a little resting emote where you just uh, sit down and take a napper um, as well as getting your 100 blades. And you do get an armor schematic at 13, which is nice. Um, at 20, you're going to get treaties and more blades. And then the next big one is at 25, you get a really lovely looking banner. I, I like it. It's not bad looking. Um, I wish banners were a bit more prevalent, but you do get your avatar at the same time at 25. Coming up next, uh, 30 is pretty standard. You get your Highland Warriors title uh, that is going to come out. Uh, 35 or uh, lovely blades. Um, so I think the next big, big one is going to be at 50. And that is uh, this lovely unit attire. The horse looks really nice with some Celtic knots on it. Uh, you get some really cool colors coming out. Uh, so if you like this aesthetic, you're really going to like this season because it is loaded with it. So pretty nifty looking unit attire. Uh, coming up next uh, for your big one is going to be in the range of 70. At 70, you're going to get your horse attire. But along the way, you get plenty of blades and other benefits. After 70, your next big one is going to be at uh, 80. And that is a legendary selection box. Um, so it cannot be a great bombard, but otherwise it's any other legendary artillery that you pick. Um, you do get a tattoo at 83, which will be the new um, aesthetic thing that they're doing. So your character can be uh, adjusted inside menu. I can't show that actually today. It's not working today. Um, you have the Highland Fling at 85. So nice little jig for those of you who like dances. Um, another great thing that's coming to this season, I think I actually skipped past it. There we go, I did skip it. Uh, at 70, you also get your weapons cache, but the weapons cache is now available for everyone. You don't need the battle pass for it. So you can get a uh, skin for weapon, um, not even need the battle pass, but that's at 70. So back up to 100 for the final uh, big one, which is your really nice attire. Uh, I actually think detail's pretty good, looks pretty good, uh, the chain. Uh, the male actually looks pretty decent. Um, I don't know what's up with the hair, but uh, either way, pretty nice looking attire. So after that, you're just going to get your typical blades all the way up through 300. All right, into weekly challenges. Weekly challenges are pretty much the same. Uh, 10 weeks worth of challenges. So uh, we'll all get to have a lot of fun with that. I can't show you. It is locked. Uh, season challenges. So for the different units, bagpipers are going to be four tiers. You're going to start out with a contract, of course. Then you're going to get the unit all while getting medals. Then you're going to get a doctrine uh, with the next stage. And that is a 600 health doctrine. Not too bad. And then you're going to end up with your avatar like normal. After that is the claymores. And with that one, you're going to get obviously your three day contract. You're going to get a bunch of unit medals. You're going to then unlock the unit at stage three. Stage four, you're going to get a epic doctrine for them, which is going to help their charge and for freedom. So in essence, both of their orders get two second reduction. And then you're going to end with the avatar. So for houndsmen, they are a total of seven. So you're going to start out with your contract. Then you actually get a doctrine that's going to help reduce damage taken. After that, you're going to get more medals. You're going to unlock the unit after four stages. Then you're going to get a bunch of medals. Then you're going to get an epic doctrine, which is going to help with their bleed damage. And then you get the avatar. Getting into campaigns, we have at first you've got two zones. You've got the Borderlands and Umberia. Then and it goes into Eye of the Storm. They're going to unlock Asteria. 
then after that, it's going to go into All is Chaos, where it's going to unlock Andulu. Afterwards, we're going to start with attacking Asteria and Agolia's capitals. And then at the very end, obviously, they're going to unlock the uh, last capital for Tolveros. So it looks like pretty standard rewards and everything. All right, going into runes, pretty much nothing's changed. Um, though all the runes look the same. The setup looks the same. Um, so it's just a, a redo of the menu. Uh, seasonal store. For the seasonal store, we have all the different skins. They all are looking uh, pretty mighty fine looking. So you've got your uh, short sword. You've got your glaive. Got the long sword. The long sword itself looks really cool. Um, you might not like the shield, but I think the actual long sword itself looks pretty awesome. Full axe. Spear, which I think the spearhead is really nifty. A nice spiral to it. The dachi. Pike. Musket. Got the uh, nemesis for the bow, which this does have a uh, nifty looking quiver. This one's actually got a little bit of a tartan on it and is very bright in colors for the short bow. Got the fangs, which are some pretty big daggers. They're in essence like short swords. Fairly simple and I think look pretty good. They've got a giant unicorn maul. <laughs> you want to punch someone with a unicorn head. Um, probably the mall for you. You can buy more of the Reaver unit attire and your uh, unicorn set obviously is also available just to buy. Um, for the antiques, they have the ones, pretty much everything from season six is back. So for your weapon skins and then uh, for your outfits as well, they brought back season six. I believe it was six. All right. Uh, you still have your Bigla, Stratagos, and Verdiat. Uh, Barid I don't know for sure. Whatever. You still got those available. Uh, there's 10 schematics for armor available. You've got 20 treaties. You've got powdered silver. Um, 50, sorry, of them. And then you've got your XPs, Lotus Waters, and Bronze Coins. So I hope that gave you a look into the season menu that is coming up in Season 10 Highlanders. I will have more content coming out, especially unit content, as I'm working on that. And hopefully I get that out to you as soon as possible so you have that available. With that, that's all for this video. Till next time, see you on the battlefield.